we're back at it. We're still in archery season. It's no longer early archery season. We're smack dab in the middle of the fall now. I've only been out once since I've gotten that doe in early archery season, but even since then, uh, the amount of hunting action has increased greatly on public lands. There's a dog walking through. I mean, that's a path that goes right down there. It's been quite a bit of time now since that doe that I shot. And if we were to sort of eat nothing but deer meat for the winter or for an extensive period of time, our family would need a heck of a lot more than just one deer. And believe you me, we definitely try to get all the cuts out of that deer that we can. So it would be really sweet if I could get some kind of big buck tonight. Or man, a bear. If I could get a bear, that would be wild. So here's my plan. I'm going to park the truck, gear up, walk into the woods, and hopefully find some sign. It's kind of a hunt. I have to go in there, try to find some undisturbed area that has good sign. I'm gonna be looking for uh, some good tracks, some fresh droppings, and if I find a rub or two, I'm definitely considering setting up there. I'm in the woods now. sign right now. This is public land, so I'm not the only person hunting these woods. Okay, here we go. I've definitely got a scrape going on right here. Something's digging around. It does look kind of active. There's some, there's some thin pieces coming off of that bark. Okay, I've got a little bit of time left. So I've decided that I'm definitely hunting near these two spots. Looking up at the trees, we've got oaks. Yeah, so there's a bunch of acorns and other things dropping for them to eat here. There's water. This tree is kind of nice. It's got some cover behind it, but it's pretty thin. Still, if I'm here right through there is that first rub. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be the one. And I'm 
I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna set up some scent wicks over here as well, so that when I start calling, hopefully they come into the scent wicks. Guess what, you guys? Right over here, behind this little pine is gonna be my tree. We got some good cover, but guess what? Very fresh, so there's three rubs all along this trail. We might get into some good action tonight. Okay, I'm up in the tree, and there are rubs all around my position. But this main lane right here between these trees. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. I'm 20 yards away. I'm really happy with this position. This tree in the center of the film right now is about 32 yards away from my position. <coughs> As other hunters are concerned, there is one truck and I hear a dog right now. This shot is zoomed in, but it was right about here where I noticed that this was a buck of some kind. I couldn't count the points, and I, I knew I saw some antlers, but I wasn't sure if it was a small six, a Y buck, or even a spiker. Right about here is where I got a good enough look to see that this buck was just a spiker. Even though this buck wasn't a shooter, it was still a lot of fun to observe this deer's behavior. This shot is zoomed in, but you can see I'm just doing a classic game of peekaboo behind the tree with this deer. I just, I still don't think it sees me, but it definitely knows something up between the grunts and the scents. Right about now, this deer is standing about two yards in front of that tree I marked at 32 yards. You can see he's searching for something. There's the scent wick about 10 yards in front of him, and I was also doing some contact grunts. So you can see, like, he's, he's looking around for something. He's heard something, he smells something, and he's kind of just searching. It's pretty cool to watch. He's only a few yards in front of a scent wick, and I kind of wonder what's going through his mind. He's probably thinking, I heard a couple grunts, I'm smelling this weird thing in the tree, what is going on? And you can see he just did a 180, and he's kind of looking around, what's going on? There's this new smell over here, I heard a couple grunts, there's supposed to be a buck here. I bet you I could turn him around with a grunt, but I'm going to try and leave him here to see if he draws in any other bucks. Right on that main trail. And he's still there. I was out for seeing a buck. And I saw a buck. There's our friend Mr. Squirrel. Or Mrs. Squirrel.
This deer never broke through that brush right there. I could see that it was a buck, and the main beam was definitely bigger than the first buck, but it just never broke through those small hemlocks. I'm sure it must have spotted me or, or scented me, because it was headed towards my direction, its head went up, and then it just kind of turned around. Felt pretty good about where I was tonight. I saw the one deer, made it out for a spike it. Then there was that second deer. That second deer came in and um, I couldn't get a good read on it. I know it was a buck, but I don't think it was the same buck as the first one. It had a thicker beam and a brighter beam as well, but it wasn't a monster. So it was a fun hunt. Got to go into the woods, got to spot some sign. I was hoping for some droppings, scrapes, and rubs, and I found droppings, scrapes, and rubs. Uh, you know, they weren't from a monster buck though, you know what I mean? They didn't, he wasn't scraping down uh, thick pine trees or grown oaks. But uh, you know, you never know with the rubbings. Sometimes a big deer will leave a rubbing on a small sapling, you never know. And that might not have been that particular buck. You know, the big bruiser that left those rubs could be on someone's wall right now. But uh, you know what's cool? I mean, like that particular deer, if it sees through this winter next year, hopefully it stays there. I don't think I spooked it. You know what I mean? Like it didn't kick up at me. It didn't snort. It didn't tail up and run. It kind of just, moved around and so I'm hoping it lives through this winter and we might get to see each other again next year although next year who knows it might it might only be a, a Y buck so we'll see what happens that's the thing you know this is this is why I came this is beautiful 